Hi, humans. Welcome to the Architects Workshop. I'm Lola Ofto. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this bundle of joy right here. A uh, simple hyperbola, parabola kind of thingy. You can use it to make pavilions, roofs, walls, whatever crazy thing you have in mind. It's a massing element. You can import it into your project and create whatever it is you want. A chair, a door, a roof, a wall, a stone. I don't know. Whatever it is you can think of, you can use it to create. And it's really easy to do. There are different ways of creating it. But I'm just going to be showing you one way in this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel to see the other ways that you can create it when I upload those videos. And uh, let's just get started. No need to waste time. So first of all, you click on conceptual mass, right? Look for your mass RFT file and open it. It should be under your metric folder. So once the file has loaded, first I'm going to change my units. I'm going to set them up. And to do that, I'm going to go under my manage tab, click on project units, length. Here I'm going to click millimeters. Um, here I'm going to click meters, square meters. Here yeah, I'm going to click cubic meters and I'm going to click OK and OK. If you work in feet and inches, it's OK. It doesn't matter. You don't have to change your unit. But for me, I feel comfortable working in meters and millimeters. So I'm going to go back to my create tab. I'm going to click on circumscribe polygon and I'm going to click make sure that mine is on six sides. You can use three sides, four sides, whatever you want. But I'm just going to leave it to six. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to draw it out to maybe 22,000 and that's okay for me. Then I'm going to click on inscribed, do the same thing, draw it out. Maybe, should we leave it inside? Let's leave it at the edge here, right? 22,000 and that's good. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to our under our elevations, we're going to click on east elevation. We're going to come down here, we're going to go back to create tab, click on level, click on this, drag it out. Hope I'm not going too fast though. Click under your level, you can adjust the height. So I'm going to set mine to 15K, right? You can set yours to whatever height you want. It doesn't really matter, you can adjust it later. And then once you've clicked on that, you just go back to your 3D view and you're going to click on this one. That's the one that we put inside the inscribed circle. And then we're going to cut it on that clipboard here, the scissors cut. And then we're going to paste the line to select the view and we're going to click level two, right? Cool, 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 cool. So next we're going to click on this point, right? So we're going to put them here, 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 here. Just at the edges of, just at the edge or at the intersecting point of the lines of each of the shapes that we have on screen. I don't know. <laughs> Just click on those points, Sha. So next we're going to click on reference, right? And I'm going to go to this spline, spline through points, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this point that you created down here. And you're going to click on the one you created up here. And you're going to click on the one you created down here. And then you're going to click escape. Right? So you can do that again. Down, up, down, escape. And it's really important that the line that you picked is on reference and not on model. So make sure to check that. Right? So I'm just going to repeat the same process round. And I'll speed up this part for you so that we can move ahead. You can take your time to do yours. He's like Tutorial. Now that we've created that, we can just go ahead and delete our hexagons. Just delete that. Click on this. Delete that. Good. So now we're going to go back to level one, right? All we're going to do is we're going to click on this point to so make sure that it's a reference point. And we're going to click on this. And we're going to put it right in the middle here, right? We're going to go back to our 3D view. And what we need is a line now, a straight line. So pick on the straight line. And you see, we're going to click on the points that are at the base, right? Click on this one and just put it down to the middle, right? 
and then you click on escape so the same thing you repeat the process for all the points that are at the base of this shape that we're trying to create right so click on this one and like that like that so i'll speed up this part so we can move ahead take your time to do yours it's really fun Now that we're done with that, if you click on this point, you see that this gizmo appears, acts like a control point. Now we're going to make this thing a solid object so that you can see more what this, you can see more easily what this gizmo is actually doing to your form here. So to create a form, all you have to do is click on this, click on one of the lines, right? Then click control and you add another one, so a circular one and then a straight one. And then you come up here under form, you click create form, good. So you click on this one, control, click on this one, click on this one, create form, good, right? So you just repeat the process for all of them, all through click, control, click, click, and click create form and you see that it keeps creating like that so i'm just going to complete the rest you can take your time and complete yours again it's really fun so just try and do it now that we've completed that so far this is what we've created so now here comes the fun part. As you can see, if you leave it like this, it looks sort of like a cool kind of pavilion thingy. So this gizmo at the center, if you click on it, you'll be able to adjust the height of your project, right? You can see that it's looking like a scrunchie. If you don't know what a scrunchie is, ask a girl. I don't know if you're a girl and you don't know what a scrunchie is, well, I don't know, guys could know what a scrunchie is too. Those ones that have ponytails. I don't know. Do they wear pon scrunchies? Do you are there guys that wear scrunchies? Please tell me. I really want to know. Tell me in the comments below. Well, you can see they are adjustable. You can see that it's easily adjustable and you can make it whatever you want and it's really really fun as high as you want as low as you want you're in control i hope you had fun learning this tutorial i had fun making it i hope you're going to use it for many creative projects if you're on instagram please follow us at the architect workshop if you're on youtube well please <laughs> subscribe here follow us on facebook too at the architects workshop we want to connect with you tag us on your projects we'll be happy to see them and we want to see what creative things you use this to make happy modeling when you're done one more thing when you're done with the entire project you've manipulated it you're feeling happy <laughs> with what you've created all you have to do is click on load into project and you'll be able to load it into whatever project you're working on so see you guys later in next tutorial